honestly didn't expect to like the Ram as much as I do. All right, guys, we're here at Ram and things are not looking too hot. Honestly, there's a lot of these old body style trucks, which I think are brand new, but they just got the old body. We do have the new one right here. This is a limited, but it is the Eco Diesel. Full big screen. So I do definitely like the new body style Rams, but I've never been a huge Ram guy. So it would take a lot for me to convert from Chevrolet, even Ford for this bad boy, but they do look good. Let's see what, that's the smallest window sticker I've ever seen in my life. 67,000. So this would be the most expensive right here. Base price of 53 and then total price 67 so this would be about this is a four by two as well golly chevrolet is killing them at price points obviously we got some insane interiors going on with this one this little single cab is actually pretty dirty if this is a 5.7 it is classic 5.7 it's pretty sick you don't really get a lot of single cabs anymore we're about to go test drive a truck uh, customer service has been nice as soon as we walked in greeted very promptly the manager came up talked to us Everything has been really good at Ram so far. We're going to go test drive 5.7. Not sure exactly what it is, price-wise or anything like that. Pretty excited. Never been in a newer Ram. Got black 5.7. Definitely do like the new lights and these things. A lot of chrome. This is a Laramie. Let's check out the back. I do like the fender flares on these. All LEDs. The duels, little bitty bumpers on these guys. Big ram. Let's see, let's get in her. See what's up. So we got some nice soft touch right here. We got the big boy screen, the dreaded dial. We'll see how I feel about that. I do dig that. Full drive where? Oh, full drive right here next to the shifter as well. Grab the keys, thank you, sir. All right, got the big screen. Let's accept that. Let's turn the radio off. Oops, let's just turn the volume down. Monster screen, low fuel. Where's the heat warmers? Looks like they're working. Go for a rip ski. Yep, hopefully. Nice leather. This is Laramie. Kind of a clutter in here going on. I don't know what all this is. A lot going on. Oh, uh, this is a Laramie, Ooh. but it's got the big screen. Yeah, it's got the limited. Ooh. So, let's go to climate. Let's get some actual heat going, please. Thank you. That works well. Traction, front and rear. You got the bottom thing right there that tells you your fan speed. Yeah, I see that. Three, four. She's cold. This has a used truck. It's actually got 3,200 miles. They're real limited on supplies here. Check out the uh, like Alcantara on the door panels. So. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's pretty sick. That's definitely the nicest These seats are nice. touch thing. Yeah, they are super nice. Very soft leather. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Alcantara on the tops of the seats, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Laramie. Got some wood trim. I do like the, this is like the biggest bulge hood similar to my Silverado was. The other ones kind of droop off immediately. No moose mirrors on this one. I'm assuming we got the nice sound system. We're gonna test that out. Super clear, that was loud. Yeah, that was pretty good. You know, I already see one problem in this truck. What's up? This ugly color. I wish uh, it was all black. Right, yeah. It is a little clashing. The knob, dude, the knob is... Oh, let's check out our backup cameras. Mirror dimmer? I don't know about that. So let's see what all we're working with. That's all we got? We got two angles? There's no way. One is a hitch. One's a hitch and straight back? That's all you get. That's trash. Especially coming out of that Chevrolet that had 360 and all, man, that was that was sick. LR1s, the digital dash up here is pretty sick. 
the gauges i don't know if i love or hate them how like uh they are they're like modern looking but not pretty clear not the clearest still got buttons well that's good your fan speed here so that is good you don't have to touch it that's actually i like that so let's see what's up Welcome to the test drive when okay. Alright, so I don't know if y'all can see oh everyone. God, I'm sure you can. Hey, I don't know about this whole junk. This is like too much. It's like an all open with a center thing that slides forward. Yeah, and back. it moves. And I think this thing falls. Oh, here's a button for it. There it goes. Yes, now you got that. So now what did you accomplish? Uh, a big gap right here okay. where you plug at the very, very bottom. I do like that he just trusts us to go do this, though. Yes, this is the first dealership that said here. This is a used truck, though. It's got 3,000 miles on it. Even better. So, but he did just say, hey, take off. Maybe it has something to do with Corona, which that's fine. Oh, when we were talking out there, he's like, what's, what y'all doing? So you got a YouTube channel. He's just trying to figure out what truck he wants and he ain't figured it out yet. Yeah, that's cool. These gauges are so weird because your RPMs are tilted. It looks like where you'd be normally at like four or 5,000 RPMs or at 1,500 because yeah. it's, it's tilted over. No, nah, not in this. I think they rev pretty high. There's actually no red line uh, showing. It doesn't show anything. It doesn't, so we'll have to I test to see. <laughs> see, you can add this to mine, this though. This is a 570. The, the hood back is seats more back here. They look, it, looks, tons of room. it looks bigger back there. This is definitely the nicest leather, for sure. Yeah. These seats feel... I like that big screen. Yeah, the big screen's pretty sick, and I do like that there's buttons on the side, so you don't have to hit the... You can still kind of do it without having to look at it. Yeah, Dang, yes, yeah, yeah, the speakers are pretty insane. We're just gonna wing it. Hopefully we don't run out of gas. We're just gonna go up one exit, whatever. I'd go left exit, right back to four feet. Okay. The 5.3, it didn't feel super good with all of us in here, if I'm being honest. The five liter, we didn't have Dylan in that when we did the 5.0, but it did feel better. Um, we'll see what this thing's got. I don't even know what the horsepower ratings are on this, but I know they're above 400. This truck seems smaller to me though. It seems smaller in here. Backseat. Is it small? Is it hu it's, it's huge, huge back there. Yeah. Oh, no worries. Maybe I'm scooted up too far. Oh, right. it's too far. We're gonna be a slight incline, but let's give her the beans. Shifts great. It shifted good. It shifted great. Yeah, that was that definitely felt better than the 5.3. Yeah. Yeah, that felt good. I think the 5.0 still pulled better though. This is basically held up. Yeah. Oh, we got window sticker right off. here. All right. All right. Feel the steering wheel. Grab the steering wheel. Oh, so you got a, you got a little vibrate. Right? We little got a little... Right? Uh, it is used truck. It's brand new. Wheel weight, perhaps? Don't know. I've heard great things about Chrysler. <laughs> You're right, Mead. 57.7. That's in my car. 57. Okay, yep. so that's cheaper that's than Ford. That's a couple grand more than the Chevrolet. But the Chevrolet had all the cool stuff. It did have a lot of cool features, it but this is cool drive. Oh, true that. This right. is cool drive. Um, right. Uh, that was an LTZ though. Some of the other ones were cheaper, but didn't have all the high country features. So let's feel it one more time. We're open on it. It feels good. That's That's awesome. It feels really good. Yeah, that rips. It started freight train in there. I, I didn't even the watch the RPMs. What's the? Uh, what's the what's the red line at? That's what I was curious of. We can do it one more time. Yeah, I don't, does the gauge show red line? Uh, it does not show red line, but I'm sure it'll. Let's slow down let's some do it again. We'll, we'll see what it RPMs out at. We drop down to 55 and floor it. 50 about 5600. Yeah. Yeah, that feel that's. That's genuinely a lot faster than the 5.3 was. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't get to take the 5.0 on the interstate, and when I romped on it, it tried to hold a gear where this is jumping immediately down to the lowest gear possible, which I didn't expect that in the 10-speed. Well, they may be doing the, the, uh, the same tunes they do in the Hell Dogs and stuff, you know? I mean, they got it figured out there. That Yeah, that felt, that felt solid for a full-size truck, four-wheel drive. Pretty impressive. Oh, oh snap, that's a huge fold down center console. That's like what what you just my front do? seat. Huh? What did you just do? He just took the whole seat down, dude. He's doing origami. I don't know there. if I like that or not. <laughs> I like that. 
This steering wheel is about to burn me. I don't know how to turn it off. Well, I want to see what normal driving is like. But see at the top half is uh, tan? Yeah, Mead said he hated that. On the 21s, they're all black. Okay, did you hear that, Mead? Huh? 21 has all black tops yeah. instead Good. of the tan. Good. That's the difference between 20 and 21. But it's funny because I don't remember asking. Oh. <laughs> see, just the normal 2000. Shift, dude, shift's good. This is. Watch your mouth. <laughs> There's a big bump. Way. Let's check her out. Yeah. It... It's old. I honestly didn't expect to like the Ram as much as I do. Is that the shifter seat? I don't like that shifter though. Yeah, it's kind of trash, but. It's a big billet piece of aluminum. When it suns out, it'll blind you. And burn your hand off. It's actually. Yeah, it actually is a billet. Look, guys, you can paint that. Or you can yeah, have yeah, a you, console you, shift like everybody else. Yeah, you can't make it have a shifter. Where is the steering wheel heater on? It's got to be on. Oh, right there here. it is. Turn that, thing Turn that joint off. Ow. There it is. Is it? No, here. Climate. Controls. There it is. Yeah, right, turn, turn it all off. Dude. I'm on fire over here. <laughs> oh, let's try the vented. We tested that out in the Chevy. Did we try out a Nissan Frontier? Oh yeah, that, that kicked in quick. Yeah. <laughs> I felt through my jacket and pull over. Try a Nissan? Frontier. We could. <laughs> Let's see if it auto stop starts. Show up in this. Is it supposed to it's have used, it? So it? It's got it, but, but we have heat on, we have a lot of electronics and stuff on. So. I didn't know Dodge did that. Yeah, there's a button right here. You can turn it on and off. 395. 395? So that's like 50 more than the 5.3, I think. Yeah, I, that was impressive. I like that. that I was, like this. I'm going to put this in my truck. I enjoyed that. We're, we're real simple here. And I believe that Ram has changed the game of the name on these new trucks, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, we are family business owned. My father-in-law and brother-in-law is on the place, so we just want to be a happy family. We like to take care of all our customers and make sure they get treated right. Okay, one thing we want to do is force them to buy it. Right. Okay. So I understand that you got to go drive a, what are you going to drive, a Tundra? Tundra, yeah. I had a 2012, so I, I, I bought a brand new and I got rid of it. He's got one, he's he's screaming no at me, but I want to try it out. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely did like it. So 57. They're going to stick around the same thing. So it really depends. Laramie is pretty up there. Mm -hmm. Your next step up is a Laramie Longhorn, then you're limited. Gotcha. You know, if you want to step down and be a big horn, don't get me wrong, we could have majority of the options this one has, right. except for the leather seats. Gotcha. So this exact package, we'll say a 2021, are you able to keep it under 60? Out yeah. the door. Out the door? Out the door. Possible. Because Ford wasn't, Chevy was. Possible. Definitely do like the new body styles. Um, definitely on the little bit pricier side still. So. How you guys doing? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right for an old guy. I hear you. David Brady. Chase Collins. Good to meet you. Dalton. Hey, Dalton. Good to meet you. He's a uh, pricing out Chevy Fords. He's a YouTube uh, channel guy. He goes and start filming stuff, and he does YouTube. What, what right. would you call it? A uh, YouTuber. YouTuber. <laughs> Ma'am, whatever you do, don't put Rick on there. <laughs> He's so ugly, your views will go down. No, they want to go up, man. Crash your website. His buddy's trying to convince him to get a Ram. He's yeah. looking at Ford and Chevys. You won't regret the Chevy it. was parked right here. <laughs> the, oh, yeah. the Ford did not make it in the driveway. <laughs> he didn't make it. Hey, I appreciate y'all coming back. Oh, yeah. Hey, if Thanks. you need anything, we're here. All right. We'll take good care. Appreciate it. Appreciate yep. it, man. Be anything All we right. can do for you, y'all. Y'all have, have a good one. Right. Brady Kilmurray, best around Alabama Ram. If nothing else, dude, come up here. The and nicest shop. people. Nicest by far. Super friendly. Didn't pressure anything. We're here as soon as we walked in. Met the owners. Yeah, two owners or three, four owners, several three owners. Brothers, yeah. Anyways, there's Dill Pickle. Um, <laughs> yeah, super super nice. That was awesome, and I actually really did like that truck. That was a great truck. That was. Called it. So now I think on to Toyota.